It's been said that Bigfoot exhibits nocturnal behavior, perhaps to hunt or to avoid detection. But the cloak of darkness couldn't hide the creature in the stunning footage you're about to see, captured by two campers armed with a night vision camera. It's May 2012 near the town of Quincy, Florida. Retired Army Ranger Stacy Brown Sr., now deceased, and his filmmaker son, Stacy Brown Jr., are camping in Torreya State Park on a search for the elusive Bigfoot. They start hearing some noises, so they pull out their FLIR thermal camera and head off down a trail. We would hear something running on our right, and then we would hear something running on our left, and it just it stopped real quick. And then Dad looked up at the, you know, up there at the tree, and he's like, oh, I see something. The thermal camera is rolling as Stacy Sr. notices a little black object sticking out of one side of a tree. Then it takes off and crosses this gap, and he goes into full-blown panic mode. The camera goes dead. He's like, we got to go, we got to go. He's like, do you got your gun? Back at their truck, Stacy Jr. gets a first peek at this eye-popping footage and this money shot. I knew exactly what we had on camera. It was proof to me and my dad because who on a Tuesday night is a mile and a half into the woods running around with no flashlight. Noted Bigfoot investigator Steve Cole says he's not surprised by the area where this footage was captured. In Florida, they have something called the skunk ape, and there's been a, a lot of sightings over many years of what they describe as a Bigfoot type of creature. What they call that is the skunk ape, partly because it smells skunky. Um, but for all intents and purposes, it's the same thing as a Bigfoot. It's not quite as big or robust as the ones in, say, the Pacific Northwest. But that is kind of expected due to the climate being a lot more tropical. We first ask the most obvious question, could this just be a person? It was shot with a thermal imager, and so it's picking up the heat signature. Typically, if any clothing is being worn, it masks the intensity of the heat emanating from those covered parts of the body. Honestly, don't see any of that. It's just a pretty uniform signature that would suggest a, a body a la naturale. But why would a person be walking around nude in the woods? Wildlife biologist Stephanie Manka instead notes the way the figure moves seems more like a different animal that doesn't wear clothes. It looks to be like a large primate, but it doesn't seem to match the body structure of the living apes, of chimpanzees or gorillas being the most prominent ones. It seems like its legs are too long, and when gorillas walk on their hind legs, they're not hunched over like that. They're more upright. Some have theorized that gorillas or large chimps could have escaped from one of the private zoos that have littered Florida over decades. But anthropologist Kathy Strain says neither this creature's morphology nor its gait support that theory. The way it comes out of the trees is what we call a groucho walk. It's very typical of what witnesses say Bigfoot walks like, this strangely bent knee gait. It seems to be out of human proportions in the sense that you can't see a neck. It has very beefy looking arms. It has interesting legs that seem shorter than what you would see in humans. Whatever this was, was pretty big, in excess of six, six and a half, seven feet in height, perhaps, and quite bulky. It appears very substantial. That is, the, the arms and the legs are not spindly. They appear to be thick and muscular. Or could this all just be a hoax? In order to have this video be credible, I would expect to see a lot more thermal imagery through the trees. I wouldn't expect it to just completely disappear. Stacy Brown Jr. claims the reason the clip ends is because the camera stopped working. So what does Meldrum think? I know Stacy, actually, personally, and have visited with him. I have no reason to suspect that he contrived this. And so the only other question would be, is anyone foolish enough to traipse around uh, buck naked in the dark? Our verdict, unknown creature. Given that this footage was filmed at night with an early generation thermal imaging camera, we don't quite have enough information to reach a definitive answer. But whether this was indeed the Florida skunk ape 
or merely a subspecies of Florida man with a proclivity for nocturnal nudism, we can say this. The situation definitely warrants further investigation.